I got involved in the project by watching the TV programme, which was making uh, small Maui canoe models. I then contacted the uh, Australian National Maritime Museum and asked them would there be any projects my boys might be interested in. It really came from the school, it was directed by the school and it was how the museum could assist the school and help in um, furthering this program with their students. Uh, Dave and Donna showed us how to build it down the back there. We had to uh, take a, bit, a couple of barks and other strips to make the, this here, ropes. As the program went along, it just became bigger and bigger and just uh, yeah, snowballed into something which was really unexpected. We got to go in it and float. And I said, no, no, I wanted to go first because I'm skinny and a little. I jumped in there first. Done a little paddle on it. Tied on it, jumped in. The bigger canoe um, now will stay on display here in the museum. I mean, we're a museum here with over 4,000 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander objects. So it's good for the young people to be involved in that way and see there are future prospects also in, within institutions like this for them to work. The big one in the museum has our names on it for building the big one. I feel proud to take my family and friends into the museum. Elders through word of mouth are interested. They were enthralled to watch the Aboriginal culture come back to life through our youth. I feel thankful that I'm Aboriginal and I, like I've got to do this. And I'm thankful for I represent my culture and thankful for the elders to, for supporting us at the launch. To be at that museum with the elders, with all those different generations, all supporting our students. And I'm so proud that Australian National Museum has a Nawi canoe. Makes me a proud Aboriginal person. Mm -hmm.